What up, man? This is your boy Vagabond here to give you my thoughts on Bleach Chapter 249 title, The Stormbringer. And, um, this chapter, man, it was beastly as fuck, man. It was a great chapter. I really like it. A lot of action, a lot of dialogue, and, um, it was overall, it was a great fucking chapter, man. Delivered and delivered. And, um, let's talk about what happened in the beginning of the chapter. Um, the Omega versus BG9 fight. Now, we all knew, man, BG9 wasn't gonna fight no Omega. Like, that was not the premier fight that we want, we, nobody wants to see because that's easy work, man. Easy work. Easy money, man. It's easy money for BG9, man. He would fuck Omega up. Like, he almost did anyway in the fucking chapter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man. BG9, he's trying to get um information out of Omega um, where to find Soy Fong. So he found she's disappeared, and um, Omega, he doesn't know where she's at. And, like, he really doesn't know where the fuck she's at. Like, BG9 is like, where the hell is she, bruh? Like, tell me where she's at. He's like, I don't know. If I knew where she was at, I would deliver her to you just so I can save my fucking ass. And that's true. <laughs> that's true words from Omega right there, because we all know Omega, he a pussy. But, um, he wasn't a pussy this chapter, though, I mean. He grew some balls, man. I like. I give him a little props, man. He he grew. It took, it took that little edge, man, just to push him. I mean, so um, BG9, he's constantly threatening him. Next, you know, this motherfucker pulls out like this long ass mechanical rod or some shit. Like it was a long mechanical rod. I don't know what the fuck it was. It might it might have been mechanical. I don't know. But he strikes that Omega. It looks like he was intended to hit him. But it, it went through the building, and it went right through his sister, Omega's sister. And she's flying in the fucking air, bleeding and everything. And, um, shit, Omega, he's shocked. Fucking shocked, like, what the fuck? Like, he's, and he's pissed off, too, and, you know, that's when um, Omega was like, yo, bro, you pissing me off. And then that's when BG9, he's like, yo, if you don't tell me where she's at, if I pull this rod out or whatever... She's gonna be dead. And that's what Omega, he took his like his lame ass Shikai. Threw it at BG9. He struck him. He got a good hit in. And um that's when BG9 said, you know what, fuck this shit. Pulls out this big ass gun cannon. Like big gun cannon. Like I was like with the Quincy symbol on, like balling, like chiefing. Nigga was chiefing, dog. Pulls it out. And he's ready to blow the fuck up. He ready to blow Omega's ass up. And the next thing you know. That's when Soy Fong shows up. Fast as fuck. Slice that shit in half. BG9 is looking like, damn, where the fuck you come from? I couldn't even sense her reaction. And then, you know, next, you know, she was talking about, she said she was in a, um, you know, her, what you call it? Oh, you know, you know her fucking stealth barracks. Wherever that, wherever that barracks was called, I forgot that shit. But you know what I'm talking about. She was in her, uh, her, her stealth barracks and shit. And she was training on Shunko. She was training to master her Shunko. And you know, she was actually giving BG9 props. Like, yo, if you would have never took my Bankai, I probably would have never mastered Shunko. So, giving props. Like, she, she, she mastered Shunko, it seems. Oh, her version, because she got a win version, you know. So, because, you know, there's a lightning and then there's a win. She got a win version. She mastered it. She next to you know, you see this big ass picture of her, her Riyatu like whirling up, whirling up and shit, the wind. And it's just looking beastie as fuck, man. I like that artwork. I mean, that shit look beastie as hell. And she has it like in the palm of her hands and shit, of course. Strikes BG9. Bam. Looked like he had his ass flying. Looked like that was like the one hit a quitter, but we knew that wasn't no one hit a quitter, though. And, you know, you see um, BG9, he's getting back up from the shadows and shit. You can see his shadow from the, you know, from the clouds of dust and shit. So, he survived. We know, so that's going to be a longer fight. We know that's going to be a longer fight. So, then we move on to um, Hitsugaya and then. They thinking they, they thinking they want to hit a quitter on Basby. Oh, Basby, that nigga woke up. He's like, damn, man. Y'all ain't gonna give me enough credit than that? Like, seriously? Like, I ain't no fucking guinea pig out here, yo. Like, 
you about to see my full fucking power now. So Basby, he's getting ready to power up. He's getting ready to fucking beast. And you know, we look like we we gonna have us a fight going, man. We gonna have a fight going and we gonna see what it to guy and soy phone is really about. Cause again, Bankai means everything it means everything to these um captains. Without Bankai we it means everything. So we gonna see how good, how strong these uh, captains are without Bankai. I mean, I'll give them fucking props, man. They they trained their ass off to at least damage the Quincy's. But it wasn't enough. What else you got? We're going to see what else they got. We're going to see what else they've been training for. Because, shit, they need a Bankai, man. I don't give a damn. They need their Bankai. So we're going to see what's going to happen. We're going to see how shit plays out. I was, um, yeah, man, I'm done with this video. Good-ass chapter. That's pretty much my thoughts on it. I mean, can't wait for the next chapter. I hope we, well, it seems like Kubo's, he's going to concentrate on these fights. Continue to concentrate on these fights. I hope he do. I don't want to see this nigga jumping back and forth from other fights. Like, start a new fight up. Like, nah, man, concentrate on these two fights. Get them out the way. Then move on to the other fights. Unless you're going to go back to Ichigo and fucking, um, up there with the Soul King and shit. Unless we're going to go back up there and see him train, that's cool. But I don't want to see another, I don't want to see another fight start back up. Like, like on some fucking Iran car shit. But, um, it's your boy Vagabond, man. Leave, leave your comments, subscribe, help a brother out, and I'm out.